Hello and welcome again. In this quick tip video I wanna show you how to use multiple UV maps in cycles. So I'm gonna switch to cycles render and I'm just gonna set up a quick scene. I'm gonna add a plane, scale it up, then make this a uh, lamp a sun, lamp with the strength of 3. So I can see something in here. Okay, now I'm gonna split this window in two, switch to UV image editor and I'm gonna unwrap this plane. Okay, now I'm gonna switch this UV image editor to the node editor. And I want I want two diffuse shaders. So I'm gonna duplicate that one add a mix shader to combine those two and I want two image textures so add one image texture duplicate it and for the first one I'm gonna use an image from cgtextures.com which is this bones uh, 0002 if you want this image I'm gonna put a link below okay and I'm gonna switch to material so you can see what I am doing and the second image is is this one which is a little bit different from the original one I have scaled it down a little bit and removed the background and one tip for you in here if you want a transparent background you must save it to a PNG because JPEG doesn't support transparent background and it will have a white background instead. Okay, so I'm gonna load this image and plug it in here. And as you can see, we have this uh, white area in here which we don't want. So I'm gonna duplicate this orange texture and take the alpha from it and plug it into the factor amount of the mix shader okay so that fixed our problem okay now uh, so the orange is fine the UV unwrapping for it is okay but let's just say I want these bones to be smaller so I'm gonna go in here and make a new UV map and I'm gonna split this again choose UV image editor and I want the second UV map to be larger so I'm just gonna scale it up okay, so this is how I want my bones to appear but the orange I want to be just one on the middle as it was before so if you select them from here it will use the same UV map for for both the images so you must do that from the node editor okay and to show it to you I'm gonna switch to render viewport so you can see in real time what we're doing okay and to use multiple UV maps in cycles you must add an attribute node uh, because the texture coordinate won't work in here because if you if you take the UV and plug it in here that's gonna do nothing because it uses the first UV map which is this one okay so I'm just gonna take that and plug it in there okay currently it doesn't work because we don't have a name in here so we're gonna tape I'm gonna type UV map so just UV map okay this is the first one for the uh, oh sorry I have my bones in here we're gonna use this for the second one for the orange okay so basically this didn't do anything because it was using this UV map as default so we don't 
necessarily need that attribute in there but I'm gonna duplicate it and use it for the bones texture which is this one okay so I'm gonna plug it in here and type in uvmap.001 okay, so as you can see it modified in here so basically what this does is it makes the image texture look after a vector named uvmap.001 so this one in here if you if you rename this uh, uvmap let's just say bones you also have to have to rename this attribute uh, element accordingly which is bones okay so basically that's how you do that in cycle cycles you just add an attribute element you take the vector plug it in there blue to blue and type the name that you want all right so uh, this is all for today thank you for watching and if you have some comments or questions feel free to ask below and see you next time